Goodwill Bins Haul Part 2, right after this. Hi, I'm Amy, the Rainy Day Shopper. Welcome back to my channel. You can find me here on the YouTube as a Rainy Day Shopper, over on Instagram as a Rainy Day Shopper, and of course my closet on Poshmark is also the Rainy Day Shopper. I do have an eBay, an Etsy, not an Etsy, a Pinterest, and a Curtsy set up as a Rainy Day Shopper, but I'm not really super active on those as yet but that may be changing based on some of the finds I've had. Um, ooh, one of the things I'm wearing right now, let me show you this, is a dress I just got today. I don't know if you can see pockets. It's one of the things I found. Oh, hold on. <coughs> oh my gosh, allergies, cottonwoods, ah, sorry. Um, this was from sourcing today, which I wasn't really supposed to be sourcing. I was supposed to be taking back some things, but when you take things back, you have to exchange them. And this is actually an e Shakti dress with the tags cut out. I don't know why, but there were like six of them and I got most of them. And there were two in this print. Um, I'm probably going to keep this one for a minute. Let's see if you can really see. I don't know if you can see. It's pretty darn cute. It has the pockets. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, so I love it. And I love the colors. I'm not sure how I feel about the bust here. It does have a little gathering. I'm gonna have to look up myself in the video. You tell me what you think. Cute dress, keep it or not. But these earrings I got from, um, is it Mahat Mah Mahatma? Matma? Oh, I'm gonna link the closet below over on um, Poshmark. She makes her own jewelry. Oh my gosh, so many pretty things. And in a weak moment, she um, I purchased these and I love them, but no more shopping until I sell more things. A lot more things. I need to, I've made back the money for my lights, for my rolling rack, and for some things, but I need to make money back for all the sourcing, <clears throat> which we're getting there. Um, I will do a little sales report from my first month at some point, but first, let's get back into this haul. I'm gonna go with the hanging items. These are all things that have been washed and processed already. And let's see if I can just stand over there. You can see through to my living room, which still has a ton of things to process. Oh, and there's a bag on the floor because there's stuff in it that I need to show you. Uh, yeah, I think you can see pretty well. So let's go over here. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, like I said, 111 items. We'll start with tops. We'll move down to kids here. Then I have another stack here and some stuff back here that may go with that stack. We'll get to it. That's going to be the third video. So first out, oh, but you can't see tags if I'm this far over. Oh, this awkward. Oof, but it's better. Oh, okay. I may have to bring you closer. Hold on. Let's just try this differently. It's so much better to see things. Oh, let's see. Oh, oh hi. Don't look at all this stuff. There's stuff everywhere and things and stuff. Um, let me just pause this for a moment. No, oh, wait. Oh, hi. Yeah, that's, no, that's not a good angle. Hold on. Just one second. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Uh, you won't get to see the full length as much, but I can kind of hold it over here. We'll see how that goes. So the first thing I found was a Bolo brand for me, or one kind of a Bolo. This has not been steamed, but it has been washed. Washed. It's a Bowden top. Just a cute little um, size 14. Uh, chambray really cute nothing wrong with it except right now it needs a good steaming because it is a line dry so it has been drying on the hanger there we go uh -huh. oh, this is fun so when you go to the bins you talk to people or I do because you know I talk if you hadn't noticed um and there was this they rolled out a roll of new bins. It was a first new like section of bins they brought out since I was there. And I kind of eased my way over to it. I was like, I don't need to rush, whatever. And it kind of snuck in on the end. And I saw this little sparkly thing out of the corner of my eye. And this guy swooped in and grabbed it. And I was like, oh, you got the sequins. And he's like, uh-huh, I did. And it's vintage. And I was like, oh. And he's like, yeah, you're probably, you're probably thinking, oh, you 
mm, word I can't say because you know it's the YouTube and it may be a family channel. Hi families! Um, and I was like, oh, you know, it was so funny we joked. And then I went over to this other section and there was a thing that I picked up because they had been looking at it. He and the girl he was with had been looking at it and put it back. And I was like, I'll take that. I don't, you know, whatever. And then she gave me like two other tops and a dress and the corset, it was a corset bustier. Um, red with like silver gray sequins. I did end up putting it back because it was damaged But they gave me this top which is silver lame and it's weird and I, can't, I need to put it on to figure out how to wear it But it's crossover and it's Fun and I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Sure. You don't want it. I'll take it. Why not? Um, brand. Oh, I don't think it's anything uh, Le Bion. Le Bion, but it's a 3x I think yeah, 3X, so good size. And, oh, with a cute little skirt going out dancing. Oh, yes, I would wear that. Um, this is just a Kato top, size 22, 24. It's kind of one of those, you know, big boxy things that have the open sleeves. Um, I just thought the print was really fun. And someone would look really cute in this, so I got it. Oops, I kicked the bag. Um, don't worry, I didn't kick the bucket, just the bag. This is a Catherine's 0X, but just a really cute little flowy, um, has some smocking kind of up here stretch at the top. Cute top, um, someone will love it. I have a couple Catherine's things, I don't know if I have the right sizes that I might bundle together um, to see what people think. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Ah, mm. I did, okay, so later in the day, I was going back to this group of um, bins that I had looked at before, or I thought I had, and I was like going through and I picked up something that was new with tags, and I'll show it to you in the next part. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? How did no one pick this up? Whoa! And then they brought out a new row of bins behind me, and I turned around, I'm like, huh. Oh. I'm looking, I'm like, huh. Oh. Hmm. I happened to be standing right in front of a bin full of plus size stuff. And of course I didn't have my card at this point because it was totally full, like stacked this high against the wall. So I'm like piling everything on. And that's when this guy, he's like trying to pull things out around me and like digging for stuff. And he's getting super close. And I am just kind of like going about my business, pulling my things. And he goes, oh, and I'm like, oh, what happened? I thought he sneezed or something. He's like, oh, you hit me in the face. I'm like, dude, then don't be so close. I'm standing here. You're the one getting in my business but he was the only one who was slightly invasive and he was fine with it, but he didn't get close to me after that. I'm like, dude, we're looking at clothes here. There's no need to get this close. <sighs> I'm not that aggressive. I actually had no idea. I bumped him with a button on his nose. I felt really bad after, but perhaps he learned a lesson. Don't mess with a girl who's found a bin full of plus size clothing. I suppose I'm a woman, whatever. Um, this was Torrid, size 2, um, just has a smocked back, cute little spaghetti top, nice little detail here. I have to say, like I said in my last video, I was never a huge fan of Torrid. Um, when they first came out, the clothes were ill-fitting to me. They, I was either too big for one size or too small for another, and they were not form-fitting. I have to say, the stuff that I've been finding in thrift stores, resale stores recently, much better and I've tried on a few pieces just to see how I feel about the fit not so bad so I'm excited that I found some another cute little top um, from Torrid dun, dun, dun. this is a flax did I get this at the bins or did I get this in my last haul and I just washed it and it's hanging with the rest in any case it's flax it's just a black tunic size petite I'm not gonna talk about it that long because there's not much to say it's linen, yay! Um, I found, oops, don't drop the linen. I think I just steamed that too. Pardon me as I straighten up the linen that has tried to escape. Notice my elegant hanging situation, all hung on the top of my door because that's how I roll. My rolling rack is full. Huh? Um, I literally have things hanging in every doorway right now. Like I said, it looks as if a store has exploded in my house, which I'm not mad about. I just need to fix it. 
This is a super cute, oh, see there's a little spot there. That wouldn't come off. Um, but look at this. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I don't think it was ever worn when I got it. I did wash it um, and it needs steamed. The cuteness, I don't know. Uh, Gretty Zuger is natural fashion, it says. 100% cotton, size medium. So cute. I'm not sure if I'm giving that away or selling it, but if I'm selling it, ooh, love it. Um, tops. Oh. Uh, the Poetry of Nice says that she gets a lot of scrub tops, and it happened to be the same bin where there were the plus size clothes, there were a bunch of scrub tops, and some were really cute. Oh, this one's inside out. That's awkward. <sighs> Um, but they're all size medium, so I got them. I have four, and I'll probably lock them together, is my guess. But look at how cute they are. I mean, these are super fun patterns. This one, sadly, is inside out. But let me just flip it. Look, pretty, right? Um, yeah, they're all in great condition. There was, there were a couple more. Some of them had some spots on them, so I left them behind because I didn't want to try and get whatever might be on a scrub out of the scrub. You know, because they're scrubs. Ooh. Just a cute little Catherine's. This is also a zero petite, so I might um, bunch it together with that other one. Um, just a cute little paisley top. It doesn't actually have any buttons. It has a little, sm a little gather here in front, so it's not so loose and flowy, which I love. Just plain, basic, but really pretty. Cute belted over jeans, or just do a little French tuck in front. This top may be for me. I'm not sure about the color, though. I don't know if it'll wash me out. But it's got that super, like, old-fashioned-y vibe. A little bit like Jessica McClintock from the 80s, you know. It is a faded glory, which, as far as I know, is, I think, Walmart. Um, it's an 1820. I'm gonna try it on and see but I just thought the detail, it was so cute. Um, and I have a cute little jean skirt I could put that on with and it might be adorable. I'm not sure about the color. Let me know what you think. Do we match? Do we go together? Is it love or not? Mm. Ah, I may do, I may do shirts and jackets in this section and then do dresses and kids stuff in the next video. And then I may do four, just for time-wise, because I'm trying to get these so they don't take three days to upload. Hmm. Um, this is another, oh no, this is Daniel Rain. I don't know, I think I've looked up this brand before. I'm sure it's probably like a $15, maybe $10. Um, but it's just really pretty. I love the colors, a good paisley. It's a sheer top. So versatile, great for career wear. They can also funk it up if you have the right style. And people I know could make this work. Ooh, this was so fun. Okay. I had really good luck or I looked really well or one or the other because unless something really shows up with severe damage that I don't tell you about, there's only one piece that I'm going to have to try and do something with if I want to make it work. And I think that's pretty good for my first time at the bins. Um, now it doesn't mean I bought a lot of great stuff, but this I thought was super fun. It is a panhandle slim and it says spirit and it's got this uh, like bedazzled horse. It says cowboy wanted, trail ride, leads, chuck wagon cooks. Um, herding, saddles, roping. So I just thought it was really cute. It's just a fun shirt. It's got this um, little patch down here on the side. Just a really cute t-shirt, a lot of detail. I thought it was fun. And that is a size, that's a good question. Oh, extra large, it says so right there. All right, here we go. This is just, a, oh, mm, no. There's some fuzzies on it, I need to defuzzy. But this is a Title Nine. is that a medium? I think it's a medium size medium. Just a really cute, um, basic shirt but with a burnout velvet not a burnout velvet but a burnout fabric little sleeves and hood and it is cream colored and 
not a spot on it. In fact, it looked basically brand new when I got it. I did wash it because, you know, the bins. Um, but I just thought this was really cute and someone could wear this and make it really funky or just have it cash, you know. Okay, jackets. And there's one sweater out there because it was drying, so we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> I just grab some stuff sometimes because I can, because it's there. This next piece is one of those. You tell me what you think. Because everyone needs a beige and mauve and lilac silk, mind you, silk, 80s bomber jacket in size large from Bedford Fair. Are you kidding me? This one does not have shoulder pads. I actually, two days before I went to the bin, no, the day before I went to the bins, I went to an estate sale. I got one, well, you may never see that one. It may just go straight up. But anyway, it's the colors of the 80s, 90s, insane. But this, I don't know. I think that whole granny chic thing is kind of a thing right now. This may not be so much a Poshmark thing. It may be more like a Depop or an Etsy, not an Etsy, uh, an eBay thing. Don't know. Gonna try it, see what happens. Just for fun. Oh, this was fun. For me, at least. Um, this is a Torrid 1X. Looks like just a little cute sweater. It's a nice wrap, cocoony. Oh, hey, with skulls on it. Oh, that is making me super bright. Let me just go like this. Can you see that? That's better. Look at those skulls. It is long and gorgeous. It's super soft. Um, there are like really like three or four pills on it. I think it's just acrylic. I don't think it's anything special. But isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. Hi, I am so glowing right now. Pardon me. feel better now um yeah great size I think this is a good find I haven't looked up comps I found just so many cute homemade things handmade um this I don't know if it's cute or just lame but I kind of loved it so I got it it's a chambray a uh, little dolman sleeve with this kind of bleached embroidered piece down at the bottom um this is very much like kind of a jacket if it had a little clasp here that they would have worn in the 20s no the 1910s 1900s over like a little shirt waist and a longer skirt but it's just someone made this it's really cute um i don't know i don't know if someone would wear this right now but i couldn't just let it sit there so i got it all right I am gonna have to do some button sewing on. Oh, not all my jackets are up here. Some of the jackets are down there. We'll get to those. Oh, hello, my sleeve. Um, this is, oh my gosh, look at that. That blue with that lining. Ow, oh, hello. Um, you will notice, of course, that this is the only button showing on the front. Actually, there's two. They're super loose. Two of them came off in the wash, which I expected they would. I have them in the pocket. Um, and there is one missing here on the sleeve, but it's an easy one to find, or I can replace the one on the other sleeve. But this is a really cute raincoat. It is 1X Dennis, Dennis Basco. No idea who that is or what that is, but this coat, whoa, I love it. I'm half tempted to wear it, but I live in Oregon and I don't own a raincoat, nor do I wear one. <sighs> Pardon me, my hair. The frizz is insane. It was sunny today finally, which is why I'm doing this at almost 10 o'clock at night because I was out working in the garden. Finally, because it's been raining so much, which is why I have been shopping too much. I have listed and photoed. I need to list more because I have more photos done. <sighs> yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh, heavy. This one's still drying. This is, um, a black diamond, double diamond. It is like a snowboarder's jacket in really good condition. Um, it is a size, what size is this? Line dry, which, oh, there's a size tag, medium. I'm half tempted to save it for my ex, who's a snowboarder. Um, he grew up snowboarding and he's an amazing snowboarder. 
And we'll see if he actually sent me the thing that he's supposed to send me and I may keep it for him. But I'll probably sell it because I, I got him like, when we were married, I had so many coats that I got for him. Um, but this is a really nice just jacket for the snow. Uh, yeah, don't know comps on this one. So I'll look those up. Oh, this is such a cute blazer. Look at the ruching on the sleeves. Nice little detail there. Oh, that makes me so glowy. I wonder if it makes me gl more glowy on this side. Not as bad. This side's better. Uh, it is a Torrid size three. Look at the ticking the on the inside. So cute. Just a really cute one button blazer. Classic, cannot go wrong. At the bins. Oof. Okay, I shouldn't be so surprised. Everyone goes to the bins and finds, like, they have all these videos. I'm like, oh, oh, I can't believe you found that. Wow. Why am I so shocked that I found some things? I don't know. Um, hopefully these are good things. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite piece from the, the haul? Um, I have mine and they're probably not the most saleable, but I'm okay with it. Oh, that's awkward. I love flutter sleeves, but when you're reaching above your head, they do fall down. This is amazing. So this is old school Lee. This is a polyester, like Western jacket, like a show jacket. It has the pearl snaps. Oops. Here we go. Pearl snaps, pearl snaps here, Lee here. Um, this three snaps on the cuff doesn't have size tags or wash tags, but I washed it and dried it because it's old school polyester. Um, has a little V back on the back. I don't know if anyone's going to want this because I know that whole kind of cowboy thing is kind of sort of in. It may be on its way out. I may be a little late for it, but I have lots of pearl snap things. So people better buy them. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. But I just thought it was fab. I couldn't let it sit there. All right. Last jacket here, and we're just about 20 minutes. Good. This, I do have a few more jackets down on the floor in that pile, but we'll get to those. This is fabulous. Look at this. The detail. Look at the double pockets. Oh, double, double, little side. Um, it's like a, a trench. It's a really lightweight trench coat jacket shirt thing. It is tulle, which I don't know if is a thing or not, or if I heard it before. It's a size medium. It's kind of like a buttery yellow tan. Not a good color for me. Um, but I just love it. I love these buttons too. You know me in buttons. Oof, buttons. Plastic, not always my favorite, but these are fun. Um, yeah, who knew? Let's see, oh, mm. hello, that's awkward. Don't mind me, I'll just do that. All right, shirts, well, most of the shirts, the hanging shirts and jackets, done. Part two of my haul from the bins, the first time, done. In the books, I will see you in just a few moments for dresses, kids' clothes, and we may get into what's in the bags. That's probably going to be haul four or part four. So I will see you in just a minute. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. <laughs>